Hi everyone, coming to the next cloud security mechanism that is the public key infrastructure. In the previous video, I explained about one of the mechanism, security mechanism that is the encryption. So there I explained about uh, asymmetric and symmetric encryptions. Now let us see the second mechanism, security mechanism that is the public key infrastructure, PKI. So this is also called as asymmetric encryption. Asymmetric encryption so why i'm calling this is an asymmetric encryption because the asymmetric encryptions uses two different keys so whereas in public infrastructure also we use two different keys one is a private key and the public key but it is also referred as means whenever using that public key the receiver side the person who wants to receive the data he has to use his private key okay so this public key infrastructure is also called as, as asymmetric encryption. So there are three different format of messages can be used in public key uh, crypto systems. Let's see that. Three different formats of messages can be used in public key crypto system so the complete crypto system means crypto system is nothing but sending the data to the receiver side in a confidential manner that complete process you call it as a cryptography so that there are three different format of messages can be used in public key uh, crypto system so those are uh, one is the encrypted message encrypted message next is a signed message and there is a signed and encrypted message signed and encrypted message so there was a uh, three different formats that uh, can be present in public uh, key infrastructure so uh, here an infrastructure must be set up to allow them with uh, not fully trusted uh, as because they are accessible via unsecured network uh, internet okay so they are not fully trusted let's see the different uh, public key infrastructure entities so there are different types of uh, entities will be there let's see that public key infrastructure entities so what are the different entities that are present in public key infrastructure one is ca we call it as a certification authority certification authority so this is one type one entity one type of entity for public key infrastructure and uh, ra RA is nothing but registration authority. Registration authority. Next, subscriber. Subscriber. Next is the relying party. Relying party. And next is repository. So these are the different. Uh, these are all the different entities that are used in public key infrastructure. So the here the name is itself is saying it is a public key, the public key infrastructure. If you want to make the data as uh, visible to the public, you need to follow some entities, some instructions, okay, some certifications. So if the certifications are there, so that the public can uh, believe what the data that is present in the internet. So if you want to show the some in important information over the internet, so if the users want uh, want to believe that data, so so that uh, if they want to believe the information, they need some certifications. Let us take the Google. The Google is uh, showing whatever the information you want. So you you will believe on that uh, matter whatever the Google is uh, showing to you. Why you are believing? Because it is having some all the public key infrastructure entities will be present on the 
Google site. Like certification authorities will be there, registration authorities will be there, different subscribers will be there, some relaying parties will be there and the repositories are provided here. So that site is having complete public key infrastructure entities will be present on that particular site. So everyone is believing on that Google. Okay, so if you want to show any information on public to the public, you need to follow some certifications to your data. So the certification authority, registration authority, subscriber, relying party and repository. So let me show you this in pictorial representation, the public key infrastructure, basic entities and operations. Public key infrastructure, basic entities and operations. Let's take here a subject is there. So this subject is going to request a certificate. What type of certificate it is requesting? Okay, registration authority. Okay, request for request a certificate. Like registration authority certification is requesting. After that, it is requesting CA. CA is a certification authority. So, requesting a certification authority. So, whenever your subject is having the uh, registration authority and the certification authority, then it issues the certificates. Issues the certificate. So, then your product, the subject is having the certificate and that certificate will be placed publicly so that the relying party will depend on that or they can study on that. Okay. This is a signed message. The complete subject should be a signed message. When it becomes a signed message, when it is having the certification. So, whenever the subject is having the request registration authority and the certification authority services, then they issue the certificate. That certificate, now the certificate, the subject is completely certified. Whenever it is certified, then they sign the message on the relying party, which is used by the public. So, this is a public key infrastructure, basic entities and their operations. Okay. So, actually the certification is a fundamental function of public key infrastructure and it provides a secure way of publishing public keys so that the validity can be trusted. The main use of this certificate is that uh, it provides a secure way of publishing public keys so that the validity can be trusted. Thank you.